back, you know, Madden 17, those type of days, is when he really loved this West Coast offense, right? He really feels comfortable in it out of this mm. bunch. Mm. You see him go to the sweep early. Franco Harris instead of Bo Jackson. We haven't seen Franco today. Coming out here first snap. Well, the one thing, if he needs a block, Franco's going to give him better protection in the backfield. And if you're Dubby, you know, protection may be everything. Now you don't have to worry about the heat being sent. Well, user, how many times do you think we're going to see stick called? A thousand times. Kimbo's in the building. You know what's in Dubby's DNA. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, nice handoff. Sweep. Sweep. Nice Sweep. Back up the middle, picks up a first down. I want to turn my vibration off, man. I want to turn the vibration of my controller off. Please vibration. Yep. We see Dubby wants his vibration on the controller off. It, it, user, is this an antic? Is he trying to get in the head right now? Or is this just him trying to get comfortable? What's Dubby doing? You know, no, honestly, you know, I was all in on Dubby with the upset. And then I remembered, like, we just swapped to, from Xbox to PlayStation. Mm. Dubby's an Xbox player. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're right. You're on PlayStation. I don't like you at all no more. You know what I'm saying? But now you, you, you understand. I talked to him. I said, look, just play the game. He's like, you're right, user. Just got to play the game because the instant I think that I'm on PlayStation, I start thinking about the buttons, then I'm going to have problems. And right there, you know, on Xbox, the controller isn't just vibrating like that. PlayStation has a lot of, you know, different things. Yeah. Yeah. User, that's a great point, too. And I talked to Skimbo a little bit about it, too. And the only thing they're concerned about is when it, the play breaks down and they have to freestyle. If he has to roll out, make something happen, he might get confused with, like, the X button, stuff like that, you know, coming from Xbox to PlayStation. So mm -hmm. that's something to definitely keep an eye on if his play breaks down and he's to freestyle. Yeah, the X and circle button is always going to be difficult. Guys, we've seen a lot of fireworks all evening long. Is this going to be the slowdown game? Is this this is the game we want to see? Is this going to be a game of possession, a first down after first down, fourth down executions? What are we expecting here? Dubby's going to make sure Henry can stop that sweep. If he can't stop that sweep, it's going to be a long day. Mm. Scream off. He got trouble. Ooh. Nice defense there from Henry, third and ten. So we're working our way through the first quarter of our main event. Yeah, Dubby sets up corner strike there. One of the best ways uh, to beat the defense with that deep corner out. He also had the backside drag. Looked like it was open, but Henry's pressure came home. That deep post is the only deep post out of bunch in the West oh Coast. Oh, my goodness. And absolutely fries. Take but a good scramble there. And Warren Moon will pick up the first down. That's something that, Spade, we saw earlier in the day. People were hesitant to take that scramble and get the yards. You see Dubby, the veteran, takes that first down. It's high risk, high reward. I mean, you want to take off if the yards are there, but you know that that QB has the lowest. He got him over top. Jerry, touchdown for Dubby. And a fist pump from the veteran. He's on the board first. And that's what we know. Nick Dubby is not afraid of this moment. He's not afraid of who he's playing. He's like, listen, I'm going to come out here and play my ball game. I'm going to be honest, that play before when he had to scramble, that's all that was open. Henry had magnificent defense, able to guard the mesh, the double drags. The drag ran right across, seemed like he was cross man or some type of match. Then he guarded the post. There was nothing left but the scramble. So you already see Henry's ready to bring out the number one defense that we know from him. But W able to mix it up, say, hey, let me catch you over top. Look like I have a step. Let me try you. Jay Rice, easy touchdown. Keep in mind, too, he's got that tough nut on his center, and he stepped up in the pocket with confidence. We've heard him talk about that before. As you see, he got his boys in there, Skimbo, Big Show. All the needed boys are in the building. We know they're going crazy in the chat right now. For the first time, we get Henry Leverett on offense. Ty, this is somebody who the word we would describe him is methodical. This is somebody who doesn't get flustered by different looks. He's going to find his adjustments. He's going to make every play look different. He's as tough of a player to defend. Yeah, so, so good. And he really does adjust throughout the game. He's going to find something he really likes. Rocking this Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook. Only bunch offset in the game that has that double post play. So I look for him to go to that double post a lot. Also going to all around to this bunch strong nasty. But look for that bunch offset and the strong nasty to be his two primary formations. Moving back to pass. Four man rush. Oh, my God, D.Y. pick. Block with the pick into the house. Go get him. Go get him. Hey. Hey, Dub is not playing. Bringing the defense, and this is what I talked about. I told y'all guys, W, the defense that everyone is running, 
is Dubby's defense. Correct. What did I tell you, Ryan? He, he's not worried about the audible. You can motion the running back over. Dubby says, listen, I'm going to show you. I'm the creator of this 3 3 defense. Trend. And everybody is running Dubby's defense. And what is he doing right now? Pinning them ears back and going to get them. Henry, he's going to have to step up and make some plays because Dubby, he knows that defense. He's not worried about what audibles you go to. He's not worried about the quick height. Even if the patch didn't happen, Dubby was ready. Well, here's the thing. Henry loves to send five out, and he doesn't mind that. It looked like literally there were there, there are six guys in the backfield, fellas. Mm -hmm. And you see the emotion. His boys, Skimbo, absolutely fired up. Big show in the back. Zombies can't believe it. The boys are fired up. Dubby's been waiting seven years to be back at this live event. Let's throw to Hester for Henry. Left side picks up a first down. For Henry, it's all about composure. Usually, this is something that Henry's always been good with. When things haven't gone his way, he still finds a way to just stay centered and, and keep plugging along with what his game plan is. It's true, but the last time we seen Henry, he had this Dez. same situation when he played with Dez. Can he bounce back when somebody punches him in the mouth? Last time, he was not able to bounce back. I want to see if he can shake that off because a lot of people are ready to crown him. You can't crown a champ till you see him get, get knocked down and get back up. And that's what we want to see. And one thing I noticed on that big play where he took the sack, Henry was patient. Got him right here. Got him nice on the top, over the top. Devin Hester in the Bears uni to the house, a sight we have seen so many times. Henry with a quick response. And as we notice, Henry's being patient on offense because Dubby has those contains. And if you were able, if you've been a fan of Dubby and watched him play, he's been getting those contains to pick off the flats. I've seen him do it twice. Happen, yeah, happened the twice on the yep. way here. So the flat may have been open, but the way Dubby has his guys playing those contains, you got to be patient because some reason his contains have been jumping up playing the flat. Now, Kay, I don't know why that is. <laughs> I mean, I can't say. We, we both older. We both ball. I, I do have a connection. That's, like, that's my dog. You know, I'm you if, if you're Henry, is this somewhat unfair? Yeah, I mean, everybody's cheering for him to lose. I, I, is this fair for it Henry? Com it is comes with the territory of six belts. The man, the no, man has $100,000 grills in his back. About to be the first millionaire. We what, did you say $100,000 grills? I don't know if that was $100,000. Oh, that much. No, let's not put that rumor so out there. Twitter grills. That's a little, right? yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not counting his pockets, but I'm saying he got One Paul Wall grills out there. One you feel me? Rumors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the end of the day, let's be real. He's about to be the first Madden millionaire. You don't get to be the, the, the man without having a target on your back. Mm -hmm. You see how methodical W operates here on offense, right? He's taking his time, setting all his hot routes up, setting his blocking. Got X. Oh, yep. Looking for the corner out of Shannon Sharp. Free oh. form, though. Knocked out one for the high ball free form. Maybe the toughest pass to complete here in 24. I'll tell you, uh, we've seen Sherman do that a, a few times tonight. Mm -hmm. I see that's tough because what you're seeing what they're doing, they're running stick, and then they're able to run a deep corner route. So you're expecting for that short, quick hit corner route, and he have his own drop set. Screamer right down the middle, B-gap. That, was, that might have been a pick, too. He was trying to go to that deep corner. Use it to your point. They switch from stick to corner strike. That time, corner strike, but he kind of got bumped on the line, and it looked like he was going to try to throw it to him, but that could have been a pick. I think Dubby's a little fortunate right there. It's a big fourth and four here for Dubby. Trying to keep the advantage in this 14-7 game near the end of the first quarter. We're under a minute to go. Bunch to the right side, solo receiver to the left. And you see WID in the left side there, setting up all his three man rush. rush. Perfect. He's no, looking, no, he's looking over no, the top. No, no. It's not here. there. Henry's defense gets a stop. He'll take over in great field position. And if I'm not mistaken, Henry has that deep end KO ability. I didn't see it light up there. Not sure what's going on. He's got two of them back there. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Right, that's, that's, that's that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, well, it didn't that's light crazy. up, but it, it definitely went and played it. Should have had Stonewall. <laughs> Scream up. Right at the oh, man. Oh, man. man. He locked up Cam Chancellor. Right. See, Dub, look at him. Here's oh the thing. God. He's sending out five. If, mm -hmm. if You know Dubby's sending heat. So you, if you're Henry at a certain point, you got to block. You got to get protection here. You can't be cocky at a stage like this, man. But I'm going to tell you, that is one of the cockiest mans alive, and he deserves to be cocky. He does. He's done it. I've talked to him so many times. I say, hey, man, what do you do when somebody's screaming at you? He's, you know, you're sending out five, you block. He said, usually you never block. You send out five and you make a read. I say, I'm too old. I can't, I can't make a read that fast. But that plays right into Dubby's hands because Dubby's going to send pressure, and he knows that Henry has the pride that says, hey, man, I don't have to block. I can make a read that quick. Stepping up with Warren Moon. Oh, 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 oh,
never I, I, will, I will give Devin credit, shot. too. We, I think just about anybody's played him online yeah, or, or, or live with him or seen him. He, he will take those three, four yards from the quarterback on, on the scramble. He's he comfortable with mind that. Yeah. Oh, he's very patient. And it was a great step up because you saw the user start to go with that receiver, and yes. he runs left and ends up getting him 10 yards. Big third and two uh, as we end the first quarter, 14 to 7. User, this is about as good of a game as we could have hoped from our main event. Yeah, Henry, you know, able to come up with a stop on fourth down and comes right back on first down and throw an interception. Uncharacteristic, but remember the last time we seen him play Dez, he was throwing pick after pick. And I'm just saying, people want to start checking boxes. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> I said if he went, if he went. Moon back to pass third and two no. in trouble and another fourth down opportunity for Henry to get off the field. Keep it. Keep in mind here. I'm sorry. We've seen Henry TD if I'm not mistaken down two touchdowns True. down in situations. Mm -hmm. True. He don't he ain't afraid to play it from down. This ain't a perfect patty now. And W had the, the tight end drag. There's a little bit late with the read. He's one for six passing. So it hasn't been pretty. He's relied on his defense. It's a massive play in the game. Nick Metcalf splits off the bunch solo receiver over to the left side. Franco Harris at halfback. One moon back to pass. Three-man rush from Henry. No, Waiting. nothing. Looking. No. Throws yeah, it left no, side. No, That's no. swatted no. away. It's another stop move. for Henry. Dummy's going to have to find some offense because we know we're just waiting, user. At some point, Henry's going to break this open. I mean, let's be honest. That's good defense. And Dubby trying to freestyle something right now on the comeback route with the curl. He should have hit that curl, but he just wasn't looking for it. He had a window, and you got to be able to make Henry pay on situations like that on fourth down. He's going to take the Texas route. I think we even got to talk about the presence of mind to go for the swat there. Like, you, yes. Yeah, don't take muscle the memory tells yeah. you yes. to go for the pick, but he knew, like, the down and distance. Now, you, don't you think W should have mixed in that sweep a little bit more? He was having success with it early. I think he should do whatever he can to get this ball in there. Let me, let me ask you guys this about the game right now. We have seen nobody, literally nobody today, be able to really get stops. All of a sudden, potentially, that looks like the two best players on the planet right mm -hmm. now. This is a defensive game. I thought it wasn't, you know, no defense could be played. Yeah, from what we've seen the first three games. Because we know we know that Dez is a mm -hmm. defensive player. Yeah. Henry is it in the end zone. Zone. Make it. Let's make it. Easy little run play up the middle. And all of a sudden, a game that looks like in control by the Madden 17 Bowl champion. He's you know five what? times back. It, even if Henry was uncomfortable, we wouldn't know. Because he just grilled up. You know what I'm saying? He just, he just <laughs> looking chill. He just, but can, we couldn't even read it. Okay, you hit it right on the head. There's levels. And that's when you're able to see. when You know, you see a lot of people start running the matter. Oh, I see this guy doing this and doing that. But then when you see the guy who actually was in the kitchen, who was that's over right. the stove, who said, right. let me get that salt and pepper. Let me get that Laurie's. Let me get that Old Bay. That's the difference between when you see somebody like Dubby and Henry because both of these guys, they know what it's like. They're, they're so comfortable. They created what they're in. So they don't have come to here, look come here, insane. come here. They have plenty oh, of reps running their defense. You can't dream of getting the yard. One for eight. One for eight. He's hit one pass. Levels. The defense has been screaming from Henry. Can Dubby find a way to deal with this pressure? And let's be honest, the defenses that Henry is running, this isn't what we're used to seeing the people running meta. The last time we seen, last time we seen Henry out here, he was no, running down. No, no. Oh, it's a comeback oh, route. It's what? a comeback route. That almost was picked off. <laughs> it's all good. It it's a long game. Like they can't do this like forever. It's like an A or B gap. Are you seeing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's getting, he's he's getting the pressure and his adjustments. You, know like, you see that every time the slot receiver Jerry Rice, W trying to go deep with him on streak. He's got a deep zone back there with it. This time he doesn't. No, nothing. W can't take advantage. And he's talking right now. And he's hold on. He's talking to the to the OG in the chat. Mm. I dare you, Doug. I dare you. You go. You go. <laughs> hey, you got to love it, man. Let I mean, him know. You know what I'm saying? The young guy let you know, saying, listen, man, a lot of people think I couldn't ball like that back in the day. Sit face to face. I'm going to show you. I will sit here and talk right here to one of your old kings, one of your old relics, and let him know your time has passed. I'm talking about relic. Hey, so I, I, said, said, I dare you. I mean, I'm just saying. Three no, rush on fourth no, down. no. Why the fuck would you go for it? I just told you not to do that shit. I just told you not to do that. I like it. If I had the chips, I would go get I mean, me a grill now. But instead, I mean, I'm going to just get some foil. I'm going to get some aluminum foil and put it on. I'm, I'm here, man. I'm here. I mean, halftime, I don't know if Skimbo and Big Show can come up in here. You know, we might need a little bit of coaching at halftime. Get some new dots. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There goes uh -huh. Bo uh -huh. to the end zone. Oh, boy, you ain't for a match. You good? on top. You good? Okay, for sure. I like it. That fake, that fake confidence, I love fake confidence. I feed mm -hmm. off it. Let's go, Doug. Guys, is this wise for, for, for 
Henry to be talking. May he I is this Dubby's ball game the trash talk? We we see him trash talk. Listen, I don't care if it's wise or not. For somebody like Henry to become one of the greatest man players in my eyes, you got to be able to sit there toe to toe. This is what live event is about. You sit beside problem right. He gonna be capping at you like you can't talk no to lies. me crazy. No so lies. guess what? If, if Henry's gonna be the king, <laughs> my king ain't gonna be sitting up there silent. I love, I love to confidence. see the guy over here chirping back saying, "You know what? You think I ain't got it nope. in me? You, nope. it's something nope. built in me. I got a lot of. I got the eye nope. of the tiger in me as well." Defense crazy. Second down to 14. Number three to go. Dubby trying to find some offense. A little bit of time here. And he's got a completion. It's sharp. First down and more. His first one since the first drive. TD able to pick up the first down. Yeah, it goes to that zig route. They do a great job beating man. I think if you're Henry, you feel okay with that, though, right? It's, it's, been, a, it's been a struggle for Dubby here. You give up the underneath stuff. Gets a big play out of it. But I think Henry feels amazing right now. He's in his element. As far as defensively goes, he feels awesome about the way he's covering all these rows from W's West Coast bunch. Throw it in the Uh oh, dangerous no. throw into coverage. It's like a miracle. And, and W a little bit early with that read. If he waits a little bit longer, gets that on the sideline after, clears out that deep zone to the right side, he might be able to complete that. 21 14, Henry on top near the two minute warning. 27 to go. Bunch over to the wide side. Solo receiver right side of the formation. Franco Harris on the right hip of Warren Moon. Devin Hester will motion from left to right. Going dual drags here with that backside. That little post. mesh concept steps up. Really good pocket there from Dub. You know? And, mm -hmm. and, and Dubby had the post. If he just could have found some time in the pocket, the post was coming Henry's wide screaming open. screaming though right now. But the pressure is coming right now at Dubby. That pressure will make your eyes, your eyes won't be yeah. downfield. It'll yep. make your eyes be in the backfield. Quick throw to left side. Really nice quick route there, but it jukes his backs inside. Fourth and six. Can Dubby convert a fourth down? Uh, he needs to. He, he, goes with, he goes with a quick snap there, checks down to the flat. Henry was sending pressure here, and now we'll see if Dubby can convert. This could be a huge momentum shift if he doesn't. Need it, Nation. Stand up for your boy. Here we go. That calf off the bunch. Moving in the shotgun. I like the route combo. Here he goes. Does the pressure get home? Good contain. Looks right side. He's got sharp. He's got a first down, and the drive keeps going. I love that route combo from Dubby. He had a high-low read there on the right side. He had the whip route underneath, and then behind it had a comeback route. If the defender came down on the, on the whip, he could go to the comeback. They dropped back just far enough, allowing to check it down to the whip to be able to convert. A little sigh of relief, a little low pressure taken off of Dubby as he'll give it to Franco Harris. Run game has not been there. It hasn't. I mean, early on, he had a couple sweeps. He tries to go back to here, slow the game down, but Henry all over it in that 3-3 defense. Here we go, Stretch. 79 Broncos. Final game of the night. What a day it has been. Nick Zesco, Tyler Davis, K. Spade along with you. No, no, Warren no. Moon rolls right. Good user downfield. He throws this ball away. That's exceptional defense right there. Tries to go to that. He had... Uh, two posts coming across each other, but Henry's user was all over it, coming from left to right. Debbie's going to flip his bunch. Looks like he might go stick here. During 11, Warren Moon. Pressure picked up yeah, briefly. He's looking for that corner route. I don't know if yeah. it was there. Doesn't get the feet and bounds. Fourth and 11. And it looks like Debbie's going to send the offense back out on the field. Yeah, it was, it was a good pass lead, but too far out of bounds. Does he go deep corner? I, I expect some type of corner route here. Let's see what he sets up. He's gonna go with back to that route combo we got on the on the last fourth down conversion. Play clock down on 10. Now he's switching it up. Shannon Sharp here. Go get him, go get him. He's gotta get rid of it, throws it up, no. it's swatted, it's stopped again. Henry's defense is on point. Maybe the first person we've seen today play laser defense. I I'm glad I'm getting a chance to see it because I wanted to see a defensive game and I think we finally got one. This is it. Absolutely screaming out of that 3-3. I'm not taken by Henry, didn't like the defensive mm. setup. Halftime's gonna be big for Dubby. You know he's going to go into the tank. 
Yeah. He's going to try to think through his mind. What does he want to do in the second half? How can he combat this pressure and find somebody that's open? Yeah, he's really got to reset, especially when you're two for 13 passing. Like, I don't think W expected that coming in. I know, you know, that the gun bunch West Coast is a little bit limited. Everyone knows exactly what, what he wants to do, especially a guy like Henry, who I'm sure has studied tons of film on a guy like W, which could be a little bit of a, you know, can hurt you a little bit with all that film out there he has from streaming so much. You know Henry knows every route he wants to go to, and that's hurt W so far on this first half. Easy. That crosser, Easy. he's Easy. got him. Oh, short, come, come 15, here, 10, come here. Come stop here. Come it, here. go. Oh, Make it oh, look silly out of bounds at the three-yard line. You know what's crazy? I think, I think Triangle was naked. Triangle had no clothes on. 4-4? Four, four? He was just oh, telling me about flex this. from Henry. Yep, Henry's in a groove. Why you Feeling himself. I'm listening. I pay attention. I listen. I it's Bo on Jackson on the outside. On the and I'm Bo listening. Jackson's into the end zone. Again. And Henry opens up a two-score lead late in the first half. There's the reason he's the number one player in the world. Now, if you're Dubby here with 17 seconds and the way you've been the way you played offense, I mean, do you just go into the half? You don't want to make a mistake. You need to, maybe you can get a big return here with Dion. That would help. It looks like he want to, he want to play for it. He want to take a shot. This is the play that set it all up. I mean, he could have just gone to the end zone. Yeah, he had everything there. I mean, he had a triangle too, the running back on a wheel. He had the post. See, this is, W's got to be careful. He'll take a timeout. He's still looking for something downfield. Yeah, this the last thing you want here is for that yeah. quarterback to fumble. You, you put the pigs in on the turf right here, and it's just, it's going to be really tough to fight back from it. And Pressure again. And something to point out, too, you know, you see a lot of the guys running the bunch offset where you can actually block your tight end. In this specific gun bunch in West Coast, you can't block your tight end. And I think that's really what's giving problems right now for Dubby. He can't contain this defense. Little time here. Looks left side. He finds Jerry Rice with one second left. Fourth down and six. Five for 18. But how many mm. times have we seen the momentum, the entire storyline shift at halftime? Oh, yeah. Plenty of time. I mean, there's plenty of time here for Dub. He's a seasoned veteran. He knows how to make those second half adjustments. We get to halftime of this, our final game of the night. It was W early. It's been Henry late. Still plenty of time, 28 to 14. <clears throat> TD, w has got to find some offense. He's got to find a stop here at the end, but defense has not been the issue. Yeah, what a turn of events. You know, W going up 14 nothing, had that pick. All the momentum was on his side, but Henry has just turned up the volume defensively. And W has no answer for it. Maybe that might start motion blocking. You've got to think about something here to, to slow down that 3-3 three, three loop because he's not able to block it out of his gun bunch. Need it, Nation. Your man needs some support. He's got guys in the back. He's down by 14. Somebody's pretty good at this game, the five-time champ, Henry. 28-14, 10 minutes to go, lots of time. We could see a whole different ball game here in the second half. We had a second half action, 28-14. Big drive here for WT. Yeah, I mean, listen. Dubby is a veteran. He is a belt winner. He did not fly all the way out here from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to lay down to the five-time belt winner. I don't care who he's facing. This is Dub Dot Dubby we're talking about. He is not going to fold. He's not going to lay down. We'll see what he's made out of. And for Henry, though, this is one of those put-away drives. You want to cement yourself. You want to get to that final four here, the ultimate kickoff. you got to put away the belt winner in Dubby. So big drive for both guys here. Side. Good juke move. There goes Bo Jackson Ooh. into open space. Duck under. And he picks up a first. All I hear is Spade next to him going, Ooh, oh, oh, God. I like That's to crazy. see somebody That's run crazy. that rock, man, and, and, and dance a little bit. I like that. Look at Henry. Already chewing clock here. First drive of the third quarter. Already taking it down under five on the play clock. Finds a little bit left side, gets three. Yeah, he's, uh, if you're Henry here, you're going a lot of milk and cookies early here. You see him. I mean, he's going to formations he hasn't ran all game, trying to mix in these RPOs, these run calls. This time he's going to go that tight off week. I expect another RPO type of run. Yep. There's the handoff inside. It's Bo Jackson. 
Trying to get outside, he'll get another three, make it a third and four. And this shows you that veteran presence that Henry's already gained. Even at a young age, with all he's accomplished, he understands the clock management, the game strategy portion of it, right? You can have all the talent, all the dots, but to be able to slow the game down and utilize that clock is what veteran experienced players do, and Henry doing that perfectly. You see it right there. Perfect example. Throws the quick uh, drag, gets a first down, and goes down. Look for him to take another 20 seconds off the clock here. Eight fourteen. Back to the ground game. Bo Jackson. Well, there's no worse feeling than when you've got to come back in somebody with a lead and they get the ball to start the second half, Spade. <laughs> it's even worse when it's the number one player in the world in Henry. And it's even worse when they know how to tote. Like, he, he's out here running mm -hmm. this thing, and if he can continue to get three a pop, like three a pop is going to move them all the way down the field. It's going to chew clock. It's going to wear down the defense. It's going to do everything that you want it to do. Exactly. There goes K-9. Breaks the tackle. 20, 15, 10, 5, and he'll fall down to the two-yard line. Henry in firm control. W just has no answer for these, you know, tight formation RPO inside zone type runs. I mean, he's getting stuck back there. The blocking's been perfection from Henry. Goes down right there at the one. Look for him to punch this in. Try to go up three possessions. Good gap shoot there from W, but tackle broken. Prime time almost out in the backfield. Still a stop at the one yard line. Great gap shoot, but Bo Jackson says, I don't care about your gap shoot. Get off me, son. You ever hear Dion tell the story of him in college running up on Bo? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty interesting yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Dion said you got a stiff arm. That's pretty mean. <laughs> I, I can imagine, I bet. He's into the end zone. Henry takes the first <laughs> drive of the second half all the way to the house. He's got a three score lead. Yeah, floodgates have opened a little bit here. Henry in business, you see the look on his face. This is what he does. This is why he's got close to 800,000 in winnings, you know, closing in on that $1 million career winnings, which is insane. And right here, this is the this is the drive for W, in my opinion. You're down three possessions, still in the third quarter. But if you don't go down and get seven here, it's going to get ugly. So we'll see what, what W's made out of on this drive. Take a look one more time at this Kenneth Walker, the third run, the Michigan State Spartan breaks a tackle, finds himself all the way down to the two yard line. It's Henry already working that clock, 54 seconds. What a, what a drive there by Henry. Can Dubby find some offense? Moon steps up, might have the him. post route. He's got him that tester, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, house call. Little bit of life for Dub Dub Dub. Loser. A little bit of life. I like it. I mean, he. <laughs> it's more fighting to do. He's not out of the woods, but I, I like the response. And you fi you, you did know, finally you see that, that O line that pick up the boost. pressure. Speed yeah, switching that. Does that. What's the Placebo, speed? man. <laughs> I don't know what you speak. <laughs> All I'm saying is we finally saw the pressure get picked up by Dubby's O line. Gave him yes. time to step up in the pocket. And, and the post he's going to go for two here. I like this. I like this. You're down. Keep, keep it at him. Keep the pressure on Henry here. I like this. Absolutely screamed at him. Looks like he had R1 too. If he just had another Can't second, he was going to have R1 no in the corner of the pylon on back of the end zone or to the right of the end zone. You see W upset by it, but that pressure, man. Henry's defense has been exceptional. Can't go through the back of the end zone and stay a 15 point lead. Is Take a look one more time at this post route. Good step up, and Warren Moon delivers a strike. Yeah, W loves this play. Wide receiver post, goes to the skinny post over the top. No safety help right in the middle, and takes it all the way to the house. And up to K-9. Defense is the running lanes closed down. One more play here before the fourth quarter. See if Henry just goes to another inside zone. Looks like he might pass, though, here. Yep. Might have him over the top. Wow. And he's got him. It's Jalen Hyatt one more time. Back inside. Back outside. He's tackled from behind. But Henry moving the ball at will as we bring back Ryan Hollins. And one great user to the desk going five wide for this final game of the day. User Henry is on something else. This man can do whatever he wants. Get out this You know, I just love being up here beside K. You know, K is so organic. You know, he's watching all these plays. He's like, Jesus, oh God, 
I'm like, yeah, you might tell me. He's like, oh, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's beautiful to be able to watch these guys play and just the natural reaction. And like you said, Henry is on fire. Mm -hmm. You know, we did not expect this game to be the way it is, especially it being the main event, because we know WWE has a lot of fight in them. Mm -hmm. But that just shows you how well prepared Henry is. Henry has a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't like the fact that, you know, we're talking Dez is the Henry killer and all that. And then now he's like, you know, he's like, you really think W can beat me? You, you know, mm. it's a lot of, he probably feels like it's a mm -hmm. lot of different. Uh-oh, Bo's outside. He's got a first down, and he'll take a seat right there as Henry continues to milk the clock. Here's a note I want you guys to pay attention to. Henry, I think, is the only one, instead of going, like, full team theme or 25-25, or he has the best offensive lineman you can put on the field. That's paying off. Also, too, guys, he's all around. He's the complete package. He defends. He can air you out. And you see his run game is filthy right now. And you talk about stick skill, user. He, he right up there with the king. He's had some nice moves this game. I'm not going to say he up there with the king, but, he, you know, he can get jiggy when you need to. He, get, <laughs> he can get jiggy when you need to. His defense has just been so dominant. And then, like, if you're noticing how he's milking this game, it's real – Problem S, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When problem, he knew how to close out games quick. Yeah. He didn't give you yes. that chance. He could take a whole quarter, a whole half. He'd be like, Lord, I only yeah. had the ball one possession. And that's what we're looking at in this situation right now. Dubby, mm -hmm. he's only yeah. had the ball yeah. really one yeah. possession. And, and even though we're just going to the house once again. Thank you. Great game, boy. Yeah, user to your point. Henry's really mastered the, the clock management portion of it. You see it there. I mean, he's taking this whole second half, just running the ball out of these unique formations. And, you know, up, up 22 now. I mean, dominant second half from Henry. Yeah, I, I did not see this game going this way. We know you didn't. We know you didn't. We, we know you didn't. But let me ask <laughs> let me ask you and TD this. How did you guys feel about the trash talk? I'd be lying to you if I didn't feel like it was a concern. And I and when I saw Henry, I felt like he didn't want to let Dubby get any type of momentum. And, you know, when Dubby kind of said just one thing, he jumped all over him, man. Yeah, I, I like it because, you know, game, boy. like I said, if you're going to be the best, i like for you to check a whole bunch of boxes for me, and that's a box. Can you sit there next to mm. sit there next to somebody and be able to chirp back to back? If I got to really take Henry back into that era, first problem, right? That's one of the things you got to be able to deal with. Sure. You got to be able sure. to deal with the captain and sit, by, sit beside somebody. Good pocket. And there goes Moon, takes off. Willing to take his 10 yards even here late in the game. Dubby still run his offense. See, here's the thing that the OGs know. When you played Madden, you had to go to the to, to somebody house you didn't know. You had to go, you had to go travel yeah. somewhere and get on the sticks. You had to go in when it might be you and your partner, and, it, and it's it's ten other guys in there in the mm -hmm. game. And sometimes, man, you had to be able to hold your own, and the trash talk was a part of it. But I, let's note this too. He looked over in W and said, good game. So this was all part of, this is sportsmanship. This was part of the show. Ain't nothing personal out here. Oh, yeah. This was just part of the show. Oh, yeah, this is what it's about. I mean, if you're out here in this type of event and you don't have that competitive fire and you're not talking a little bit and you're not, you don't want to be here, that's what this is about. You got to want this. You got to want this bad. Like W says, you got to need it. You got to want it. And Henry wants it bad. There's a reason why he's the five-time champion and he's closing in on a million dollars in winnings because this, this, is, this is everything to him. Guys, Two minute I gotta, warning. I got to bring this up. Dubby is streaming. We all know what he's doing. And, and, and Dubby kept streaming after mm -hmm. he won. Did, did, is this biting him right now? No. It's, this ain't got nothing to do with streaming. Warren Moon. This ain't got nothing to do with streaming. This got to do with this is number one versus number 50. <laughs> you can see that. I mean, to be honest, you know, Dub, Dub had, he's married with a kid. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For you sure. know, he's been locked in with Skimbo and all that. But let's, you know, let's be honest. The young blood got it. He got the juice right now. Moving back to pass, first and goal. Looking end zone, he's got him. Franco Harris, touchdown for Needed Nation. Yeah, hats off to W, though. No quit. No quit in the veteran. He's going to keep pushing here. Probably see an onside kick. You got to give credit to W, too. Just making it here. 36 years. He's already the oldest belt winner of all time. That's right. Sure. And now yeah. he's the oldest player to make a, a live event like this. So hats off to him, man. Super impressive performance just to get here. Good pocket. I think we should call out to you. It, it's clearly a lot of respect <laughs> from Henry. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes. if, if this was somebody that you didn't have that respect for, even now you still chirping and you still yeah. – he's gotten to a point where the, the game is in hand and, and now it's back to being respected. Uh, safe to say Henry's dream didn't come true. 
I, I, I say this too. Shout out to my brother CTG Clef, the guy, man. He, he he talked about W, and the one thing he said is like, if you think W just quit or he laid down or he's not competitive, he said W's always been competitive. Oh yeah. He's gonna fight. So mm -hmm. you know, shout out for him to be in there. He's not just happy to be here. It's just him. <laughs> that boy's way too much. He's on another level. Yeah, he's on another level. It's levels. You know, when I'm looking at it, the the dominant performance that Henry put on this matchup, I mean, to me, he's a heavy favorite coming in tomorrow. Yeah, so are we headed for a Henry? Dez champion? Dez got to get through Drini. Dez got to get through Drini. I mean, Ty just already counted Drini out. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll never count Drini. You know, you, you got Henry versus Gabagol. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to see how that defense is going to play against that tight formation. Mm -hmm. You know, Gabagol was the, the only guy out here yeah. running that formation. He looked good, too. Gabagol looked good. Safe to say there's going to be a lot of prep going on tonight and tomorrow morning before the tournament. Dez and Drini is really crazy, though. I mean, to me, Dez resembles Drini's game. Like, you know what I mean? It's like he's a newer Drini on the scene. So that's going to be just awesome. There's the first down for Henry. Have you guys seen... Henry win like this. It, he's just running the football. Oh, yeah. He's slowing things down. Yes. Normally, yeah. normally it's the dots. It's, it's the four, five-yard pass. You guys see them do this. I mean, an unbelievable performance. The main event of our evening. It is Henry moving on to the semifinals.